in this video I'm going to talk about the post content now uh, let's say you want a blog post to be built with the page builder and uh, I will go to the pages blog post so this is a blog post I will try to uh, edit the post and edit enable the page builder I'm going to edit this page with a page builder and as you can see it's uh, it only has this uh, text box but uh, just a ma uh, just uh, from a default perspective I will just remove it and now we have a clean page you might wonder where the whole content of the normal page is well um, that's because that page was auto generated by WordPress while this one is a page builder type of page or post so now I'm going to recreate that page I'm going to search for the custom subheader as you can see the subheader is added you can customize the you, uh, the advantage of using the page builder is that you have more options as you can see you have more options here into the uh, custom uh, subheader but anyway uh, there's an entire video about this uh, this element so I'm just going to move forward so let me just search for the post content element and as simple as that sorry sorry as simple as that uh, the content of the post was added to this uh, page now you of course you will probably want the comments so there's a comments uh, element so also you might want the um, the uh, sidebar so I'm just going to resize this uh, column to um, eight uh, columns in size and I'm going to add a new column the column has been added I'm going to say four columns this is a column and this is the default uh, sidebar can choose any sidebar you want so as you can see uh, I recreated the um, the blog post now in case you're wondering why would you want this well that's a valid question but now I have the freedom to add any element from here I mean I can have a a page like this like a home page with all sorts of uh, of elements and add them here I can have a custom subheader with all sorts of uh, options uh, better said I can build an actual page and not just uh, rely on a, on a template so if you want to uh, have I don't know if you having a if you're having a blog with uh, say thousands of posts of course it would be too hard to do uh, this uh, for each uh, each and every post so if you on the other hand have a, a simple blog with a, I don't know weekly or monthly posts you can do uh, this uh, custom uh, you can make this uh, page a bit more custom so you can simply um, to I don't know to uh, gain some um, you know, some time just save this new template I'm just going to say blog post and I successfully uh, saved it so in the future if you want to uh, uh, do the same thing for I don't know another another post just let's say this one for example if I want to recreate this page just simply 
edit with page builder I see sorry this this one is already built with the uh, page builder so I'm going to choose this uh, a post right here and edit the post enable the page builder edit with page builder and just load the uh, template I have it here I'm just going to load it and there you have it something strange here but probably I just have to refresh uh, uh, this uh, this page I'm going to delete this section too so uh, that's about it if you have any uh, any questions feel free to ask me and if you have uh, uh, troubles with the, uh, the this element feel free to subscribe to our support forums and my colleagues will help you there so thanks for watching 